All right, Todd from Jeep Speed Shop. Here we have our 2021 Jeep JL. This was a two liter base model Jeep uh, that we put a 392 in, HP 75. And this has got a 241 non-Rubicon JK transfer case right now in it. It's just what we have in it for now. And we've been driving around like this. It's been fine, been great actually drag raced it even i mean this has uh, been a good setup but we're not here to talk about any of that we are here to talk about cooling systems so we tried the 392 jl cooling system and that goes for all this junk here so that's the radiator for a 392 jl we bought it new from chrysler and these are all the hoses from a 392 jl you know, all the, these are all the hoses and setups you got to run. The, it's a surge tank. I think that surge tank's actually from our 2 liter. So we reused the surge tank from our 2 liter. But these are all the hoses, though, that are required to make this little radiator work. I think it's about an inch thick. And, uh, I mean, it worked. We never really overheated. We went through the whole summer. Uh, drove it all over, AC, all that stuff. Everything worked. It was fine. If you're on a budget putting a v8 in a jl or jt this is a way to do it uh, i'm not gonna say it's awesome but it works i mean this is the lower hose man you gotta get an adapter that comes with uh, i think that's all part of the 392 jl stuff but we just use regular hose clamps and things but um yeah you know and then this hose here it goes to the heater core and the firewall goes all the way around this hose here goes from the water pump to uh the rear heater so then it would go like from in the front and then it would go into the back tube back here but it hooks up underneath there so it would have hooked up underneath there and so it seems stupid it didn't seem like the heater worked that great when it was cold you know but it worked you know nonetheless the heater did work uh, but I don't think it worked as good. So now we're going to do it, this whole, this whole radiator thing, this is how I'm going to do ours. I mean, like I said, if you're on a budget, I get it. And that's a way to do it. And it works. I mean, obviously, right? So, and these are the reasons why when you're running this 392, because that's where the power steering would have been, right? But there's no way to fit the power steering. You'd have to shove it in through there, move everything all around. So this has a uh, power steering pump from like a 12 Challenger. This is the pulley and the setup all from a 12 Challenger and bolted up to this engine because this is a Challenger engine. Didn't have power steering, we added it. This AC compressor is from the 392 JL setup. Um, it doesn't line up, it lines up in the front. The belt lines up, but in the back, um, there, this must be a little bit differently located in the JL. So this timing cover must be different in the JL. So in the back, there's a third bolt. I had to make a bracket back there for the back of the compressor to be mounted. But the AC lines are all from a 392 JL. These are all factory AC lines. So these are all from the 392 JL setup, which worked. You know what I mean? So, because none of our two liter stuff is going to work, so we used all the stuff from existing, you know, 392. This is a 21 Jeep. We used 21 JL 392 stuff. So, and it all worked. So, I'm not going to do this radiator setup anymore. And just, just so everybody knows, this is what you'd have to use. You have to do it this way or something like all this if you're going to be running this factory radiator. I get it. It's all about money. But we did it for, oh, I don't know, a few months. I don't know, six months or eight months or whatever. Drove it quite a bit. Um, but now, I built a radiator. This tranny cooler is from actually the 2 liter. So it came from the Jeep when it had a 2 liter. So we're going to reuse that. These are the lines from the 2 liter. Because this is higher than when it was before. It's like 4 inches higher so i'm using these pieces here um and i'm going to put into this radiator but yeah it's a radiator that we built 
So uh, we welded it all up, made it work, put the AC condenser from the 392JL or your 3.6 or your 2 liter, all will work. So I'm not, not sure if we're gonna build this radiator exactly anymore, I don't know. Um, I think that for now, the radiator that we're building is the one that's gonna be in our Gladiator, which is a truck radiator. And so this port here is an inch and three quarter, it's kind of high. We're gonna be running the truck setup, so it'll be more down here, two inch. So if somebody's running a car motor, they'll have to figure out an adapter because I don't know when we're gonna build another radiator for that or not. So that's up for discussion. We're still just gonna test the waters here, kind of see how it works and figure out what we're gonna actually do. Um, but for now, we're gonna use this, these cooler lines here, I cut them. We're gonna put a barb fitting and then go over here. I cut these because they were short. They're like boop, right about here, which isn't gonna work. I need to be more up here. So I'm gonna put fittings in here, put some clamps on it. So I'm gonna do it that way. It'd be another way to do this on the cheap and see if it works. So it's just, this is our guinea pig, our uh, JL guinea pig. And so we're testing stuff. So, and it does have a big bore box, as you can see, big bore box. We're running this pump for now. I'm gonna get rid of this. We're gonna put a PSC pump in it in the future. But back to testing, we're just trying stuff out, and, you know. But does have a big bore box, does fit, woo, just barely. And I didn't cut this one all the way off like I usually do. So I cut it back, uh, and we're just back to testing, you know, but everything fits barely. There's not a ton of room, you know, but it works. But this is kind of a way to look at what we got going on in this Jeep. You know, everything fits, it all kind of works and everything goes together. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all about cooling. So that one heater hose would have went in here. So there was a barb fitting here and the hose went, you know, around to the back and then hooked up down hit there. And uh, we took all that out. I got another hose for here, hooked it right to the heater. So, cause the heater didn't work that great in this thing. So we're gonna try all this and see if the heater works better too. So I didn't think the heater worked as good as it should. Um, but yeah, no, it's all about cooling this time. Again, I think I've touched on cooling again before. Uh, next will be transfer case stuff, I think, cause I'm working on a video for transfer case, getting everything all gathered up. But yeah, no, this is, I think the right way to go for a radiator. So we will find out, um, but using a stock fan. So this is the fan from the two liter, which is the same fan for the 392 and the same fan for a 36 Gladiator. So as I got them all here and we tested them all. So, all right, well, here we go on to the next thing. Um, yeah, this thing's coming together. We'll be testing this thing more and more um this thing's working out good so everything's everything's been happy engine's been working good everything's been working out great i think we just have a few more things to keep working on but that's why we have a guinea pig and that's why we keep testing so all right i think that's enough of this one all right jeep speed shop out